This is the photo that caused ABC Managing Director David Anderson to issue a statement of regret to Woodside Chief Executive Meg O'Neill on Friday. Sky News can reveal this photograph of an ABC crew on the driveway of Ms O'Neill's home in Perth, which casts into doubt the ABC's version of events that they did not go onto private property when they filmed protesters attempting a raid on Woodside Chief Executive's Mel Meg O'Neill's house last week. This photo was sent from Woodside to the ABC on Friday after an ABC statement on the protest raid on, on the house of Meg O'Neill said, quote, the ABC team remained on public land observing what was happening and getting some vision as journalists do. They at no time went onto private property or had any involvement in what was happening. That statement said the ABC team in no way colluded with the activists. Well, after this picture was sent, the managing director of the ABC, David Anderson, then sent a letter expressing regret to Meg O'Neill, not apology, but regret. And the ABC still insists that standing on the driveway like that, you see that film crew and producer, is technically and legally not standing on private property. The ABC statement about this said, quote, a Four Corners team attended the protest action to gather material for a potential report later this year. Just prior to the action, the team received a tip to go to an address. They had no knowledge what was at the address or that it was someone's house. The ABC team remained on public land observing what was happening and getting some vision, as journalists do. After the correspondence from Woodside, the ABC has updated this statement on its website on Friday, saying, quote, in response to concerns that have been raised, the ABC is conducting a detailed examination of the circumstances surrounding this matter. And I'm told whether or not the crew did have any knowledge over what was occurring or what might occur is the subject of that review by the ABC. So that exclusive photograph there. The Communications Minister, Michelle Rowland, was asked about this disturbing incident in Parliament last week. The unacceptable behaviour towards a private citizen in this matter is completely unacceptable. I also reiterate, Mr left. Speaker, that I have sought further information from the ABC on this matter in addition to their public statements. However, again, I note that the ABC has both operational and editorial independence and I await that further advice that I have requested.